Alright, hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to get an emulator for the Nintendo 64. An emulator is uh, just like the console on your computer, so you can play games for the Nintendo 64 for, with the Nintendo 64 emulator. And I'm going to show you how to get Project 64, which is the emulator. So to get it, you're going to have to go to the internet and type in to a search engine like Google, N64 emulator so the first site should be emulator zone and uh, it'll show Nintendo 64 emulators and if you scroll down it'll show multiple emulators like Project 64 and 1964 Ultra HLE well the best one is Project 64 so click this it'll show like download play all that don't ignore all those those are just ads Go down to the bottom, it should say Project 64. See, this is what it looks like in like mini version. And uh, click Project 64 1.6 or 1.7, whatever, whatever version it is. And then press save. I already have it, so I'm not going to save it. And then you save it to wherever you want and then install it onto your computer. Once it's, ins once it's installed, it uh, open it up and it should be like this. There, it's empty. It's blank. So to play a game, you go to File, Open ROM, but you don't have any games. So what do you do? So you go to the internet and you type in to search for a specific game. You type in like whatever game you want. So let's say Star Fox 64 ROM, and the uh, should be Cool ROM, uh, Dope ROMs, ROM World. Choose whatever one you want. I'm gonna choose Cool ROM. Dot com, and see Star Fox 64. And you scroll down to please wait, your download link will appear in two seconds. Blah blah blah. So you download your file. Go to save. I'm gonna save it to a folder that I created for my games. You can save it wherever you want. Just remember. So when you uh look for it, you can play it. And uh wait for it to download. And then you can close it. And then go down and open Project 64. Go to file, open ROM, and when you look It'll be like this. It'll be in a comp like a zip form and like a compressed form. What you want to do is you want to right click and extract files. This like brings it into a folder so it's easier. It's like not compressed. It's easier for the emulator to process. So go up and find the folder it made and choose the game. And it'll pop up. And here's Star Fox 64. And you can go to file and end the game. You can go to system and reset it. You can pause it. I'm going to pause it. So you don't have a controller. So what you can do is go to configure controller plugin. And you could see this is player one. So this is controller one. And you, these are the controls right here. So there's up, down, left, right, A, B, star, all these buttons. These are the arrows. These are the buttons like L, R, A, B. These are the C buttons. You can click it and then press A and it'll go to A so and then if you click this this means the controller is plugged in so only right now if you go here these aren't plugged in but player 2 is so let's unclick that so so now player 1 is plugged in so say you're playing Super Smash Brothers you can go to player 2 and click this and choose the controls for player 2 and uh, you can have multiple players on the keyboard so you can and well you can use an Xbox Constrict Xbox 360 wired controller to plug it in the USB port and it will work for uh, this and then what you do is you plug it in and you go to here and it should be here and wireless controllers will not work even if you have the play and charge kit thing it won't work you have to have the wired controller so press OK and resume and you can play so let's see So right now, I'm going to pause it. And so to look for more games, you can go to a site. So say CoolRom. Let's go to CoolRom.com. So here, there's home forums. Let's see. Go to ROM files. That is a game. So you choose your console. So go on to Nintendo 64. And it should say top downloads. So Super Smash Brothers, blah, blah, blah. You can choose whatever one, search, and then we'll see uh, Resident Evil 2. You choose it. What you have to do, like I showed you before, is go down and wait for it and download it here. 
and uh, download it and then put it wherever and then once you download it remember to extract the file so it's easier to use and uh, yeah that's how you use a Nintendo 64 emulator